It's day 18 of the 31-Day Saver Pilot Challenge. Today, we're briefing an instrument approach. Welcome to the Safer Pilot Challenge. M zero A online ground school. Jason here. Who is eighteen for eighteen? As you watch yesterday, it kind of all ties together about getting an IFR clearance. Today we're, we're continuing our flight towards Winter Haven. We're going to be briefing an approach. We're going to be loading that approach into the Avidine as well. We'll be showing you all of that as we work to it here together. Welcome to six thousand feet. Welcome to day eighteen. I hope you're loving the Safer Pilot Challenge. If you love the free videos, imagine how good the paid videos are. M0ATrial.com to check it out and learn more. Hey, to all our ground school members watching this, by the way, we're going to talk about briefing and approach. And the first question is, which approach? I'm still quite a ways out, uh, 42 minutes out from Winter Haven. You think, why are you briefing an approach so far out? Can I be honest with you? I looked at all three approaches for Winter Haven on my couch back at the house yesterday. Sitting there, Mac and I were watching a show, and I was looking at my uh, approach plates, briefing them even on the ground to become aware of them. Here we are, 42 minutes away from Winter Haven, and I'm going to show you my technique. I brief, load, and brief again. It's gonna, it sounds a little bit silly, I understand, but it's all going to make sense. Let's go to the iPad real quick together here. Let me uh, let me turn up my brightness so I can see it's a little bit better here. Okay. Going into Winter Haven, look at the weather in the top left for me. Okay, it's VFR, that's great. 10 miles clear, but the winds are variable at 3. Well, which approach? Winter Haven is a pilot-controlled, uncontrolled airport. What, um, what, air, what runway am I going to use at the Winter Haven Airport? Well, let's go in to the U.S. Chart Supplement, formerly called the AFD, and let's look right here under Airport Remarks. It's a 10 of these times, glider activity, Jack Brown seaplane base, Jason Lake, runway 5. Do you, does, every, does everybody see that there? Let me, let, me, let me highlight it for you. Right here. Runway 5, preferred for calm or light winds. That's what we're going to end up using right there is runway 5. So I'm going to come back over to my procedures. I see I've got my runway 5 right there. I've got that. And let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. And let's work on it here together. So one well, of the first thing that jumps out to me is this is an LNAV approach. A non-precision approach taking me down to an MDA, not a decision altitude or decision height like you're used to. We'll talk more about that here in just a second. Let's go ahead. Let's brief our approach then let's load our approach. My approach course is a 049. I've got my runway lengths, my touchdown zone elevations. By the way, I like to annotate and highlight showing me that I've gone over everything. Next and most importantly, yes, this is the runway five at Winter Haven. You go to some bigger airports, they may have multiple approaches to the same oh, runway. Multiple RNAV approaches. It'll, it'll be the RNAV Yankee runway 5, the, the RNAV Zulu runway 5. Multiple GPS approaches to the same runway. ILS, ILS approach in there and everything else. I'm oh, sorry, I heard a 2 3 make sure he's not calling me. All good. Then we, we get down to some, our, some of our takeoff and alternate minimums. The first one's about helicopters, but this is interesting. When local altimeter settings not received, use the Bartow altimeter, increase all MDAs by 20 feet, and uh, visibility it talks about. Then look at this. Straight in runway 5, not available at night. Circling runway 5, 1129 not available at night as well. I've got my missed approach, a climbing left turn to 2000, the Plumley and hold. I also get that right down here as a pictorial, which I'll show you more in just a second. I've got my ASOS of 133.675 queued up. I've not received anything just yet. Even though I'm so far out, I don't know if the camera catches this, but I'll put the ASOS in and I'll wait till I see the little RX, like you see, I'm still picking up Naples down there. I'm waiting for a little RX to pop up. I've not received anything just yet, so I kind of leave that up there and just wait till I start seeing receiving. Then I'll listen just to confirm what my ADSB weather is pulling in is accurate and correct with all of that. All right, coming on in here, I see I'm, I see I'm gonna go to Bezdu at two, no less than 2,000 feet. To who names these things? Rel Relney, right at 1,800. There's also my Maltese Cross there as well. Then I've got a, kind of a, uh, a fix here, Nosti at 980 feet, and I'm taking this all the way down to 600 
160 feet, as you see there. So I've got my entire approach plate briefed. I also will have geo-reference on this plate, but I know roughly how I'm going to be coming in. My airplane's going to be coming in kind of from this direction yeah, here. If I'm probably going to get radar vectors, I'm probably going to come right in to Bezdu, is what I would expect there. Now, I want to head on over, and I actually want to load this into the Avidine here. So let me show you something. I'll come over here. I'll click Approach. RNAV, Runway 5. Vectors, I'll probably just get vectors in there. How do I know that? Well, going to Lakeland, if you look, is kind of out of my way. That doesn't mean they won't do it, and I'm always willing to adapt. But for now, I'll put vectors in there. It jumps me to the bottom. You can see I've got vectors to final. Currently, it's inactive because I'm right now I'm Naples to Rogan. I haven't quite made it to Rogan just yet. My vectors to final is inactive. And I've got all my fixes all right, in here. Here, everything is loaded in there. There's my rail line that we talked about as a final approach fix as it's taking me in. There's my Nosti, as it's called, as you can see right there. Runway 5, there's my Winter Haven, and then it loads my published missed approach in there as well. So I briefed it, I load it, and now let's cross check it one more time here, okay? So I've got my final approach fix. I'm getting just vectors to final. It's inactive right now. That's what I want. So the GPS doesn't just start following it, going that way until I'm ready to rail line as I've got that there. Uh, all queued up. Uh, it's showing it as a 051. I showed it as a 049 here. No issues there. To Nosti. Looks good. At or above 980 feet. Looks great. My runway 5 all the way on down. And coming on down to 660 feet. Winter Haven. Miami Center, Meridian 846, Mike Alpha, 7,700, climbing in the We brief this approach Remember, back at the house. Mike Alpha, Miami we brief Center, it again right here using annotations and highlights. We load it. We brief it again real quick just to cross check everything. Redundant, over the top? Yeah, maybe. But listen, when you are an instrument pilot, you are, you are working towards precision. You're working towards mastering everything you do. And I know ATC could put, could put a kink in this. ATC could take us to Lake. ATC could, could change everything up. They may, I may start listening to the Unicom and realize, wait, they're using 1-1 one, one over there. And have to three Mike Zulu cross uh, 1-5 miles south of Winter Haven at maintain 3,000. Cross 15 miles south of Winter Haven at maintain 3,000, thanks to the Mike Zulu. They may throw kinks in it like that. There, go, there goes my Rogan. So now I need to get down to 3,000, 15 miles before Rogan. So I got to start working on that now as well. These changes, these little little adaptations always, you got to be willing to work with them here. Like I said, I may be listening to Unicom, and all of a sudden they may be using 1-1, and I'm able to flip that around. It's not a problem. Knowing your avionics, knowing how to breathe, knowing everything that you have, that's the key. Hope you're loving this video, seeing all this real world stuff happen here. Have such a just a blessed, abundant day. We are in the business of making 2023 your best flying year yet. Again, check out m08trial.com to see inside all the private instruments, commercial, uh, fundamentals of instructing courses, so you can check all that out. Have an abundant rest of your day, and most importantly, remember, Good pilot is always Number learning four, every day, six, everybody. Two, we'll see six, five, contact. One of our missions here at M08 is to help you make flight training more affordable. And I'm sure you felt the impact of rising prices and we just wanted you to know that we're all in this together. We've held the same pricing for more than 10 years, which is truly unheard of. But like you, we're also feeling the effect of rising costs. So for the first time, our courses will increase in price on February 1st, 2023. However, I don't want you to pay more. So we're setting it up so you can lock in the current price by becoming a subscriber right now. Existing M0 members, you're gonna keep your current prices for as long as you keep that subscription and as long as that's maintained. Uh, if you're in a trial, head over now to m0a.com and click on the store to become a member now. And thank you so much for trusting M0A. We are truly so grateful for you. I hope you have just a blessed, abundant, amazing day.